This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to take any photo and make it look like it was actually a watercolor painting. So what we need to do here is uh, just take uh, any photo that you like, uh, basically any scenic photo, things of uh, with li nice reflections and ponds, and things like that, uh, works really well. Any 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 type of stuff that you see normally being made uh, as uh, watercolors work really well. Things maybe like portraits might not work too well, but something with not too many finite, m many uh, details works quite well. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, duplicate our layer three times. So we want to have our original layer and then three layers of uh, effects, essentially. So what we can do to duplicate these things quickly is just do Control and J, one, two, and three. So we have three layers and the original one, a total of four layers. Okay, now what we want to do is just turn off the top two ones and just focus on the first duplicated layer. And on that layer, we're going to go into Filter, Show Menu Items if that's available there for you. So we're going to go into Filter, Artistic, and Cutout. And in the Cutout, and here shows a preview of what's going to happen here. What we want to do is have a high edge fidelity, and you can play with this with these things and see what it is that it does. The low edge fidelity uh, has pretty much s uh, some straight angles to it, and as you increase the edge fidelity to the maximum, then you start having a little bit more of the rounded uh, edges, right? So that's pretty good. The other thing we want to do here is just the number of levels. So that's how much detail is in the photo here, in the painting, right? Number of levels, two. And you don't want to go with too many details here because normally in uh, watercolor there is uh, a lot less uh, fine, uh, fine details on things. So I think like a, a level of like four or five works really well for this. And uh, what we also want to do here is the uh, edge simplicity. We want to uh, make it a little bit simple so that the strokes aren't too complex, right? So we want to play around with the simplicity. Now, obviously, not make it too simple, right? Because then it doesn't look quite right. But uh, somewhere around here, four or five works really well. Maybe a three uh, does a, a pretty good job. So we're going to go ahead. I'm, I'm happy with this. It kind of looks like it was, you know, uh, painted in. So we're going to go ahead and click OK here. Now what we want to do is change our mode to luminosity. And uh, with luminosity, it just brings in a little bit of the details from here, a little bit of the color into the into the painting here. Okay. Now we're going to turn on our second copied layer, and in the second copy layer, we're going to add a uh, another filter here from the artistic range here. We're going to do a dry brush, and in the dry brush, we're going to use. Let me just set some things here at zero here. So we're going to start with brush size here, and uh, by increasing the brush size you start seeing that there's uh, more or less detail being shown here. And what we want to do here is basically increase the brush size to the maximum. And we also want to increase the brush detail over um, pretty much to the maximum to bring up a lot of the detail here uh, in, in the photo. We, wanna just, we don't want to bring too much, but we also don't want to make it seem too simplistic, right? So we're going to add just a bit of that and in the texture department here you can see if you add texture it starts looking a little bit weird here so we want very little texture actually we want to just leave the texture at one so right now for this photo here what's working really well is the brush size of 10 detail of 10 and texture of one all right and with this we're going to change the mode here to soft light so as you can see what this is doing here this is just adding a little bit more uh, of the tears it, uh, it's it's uh, you know making these things a little bit uh, more defined edge here and uh, burnt in, if you will, a little bit better. So you start seeing a little bit more of the evolution of this, right? And on the third step here, we want to add uh, here in the noise department, we want to add a median. And in the median, a median just essentially does something that is similar to like a Gaussian blur. And uh, with the median, we want something that is uh, pretty, pretty blurry, pretty <laughs> probably something really blurry and uh, we want we don't want to go too overboard right so we want to seem like you just have to wear really thick glasses right so you kind of you know it's kind of blurry but you can still make out what's happening here okay and in this we're also going to set our mode to soft light and in doing so what we're doing here is just again just bringing another level of detail here 
bringing a little bit more of the cloud here, making it a little bit more obvious. And uh, there we are. So it looks pretty much like it was a watercolor painting. Let me just show you the before here and the after. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. It looks quite convincing as a watercolor. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.